Peace and blessings. Family, we are back with a new season of Church After Hours. We have been gone for quite some time, and this season is going to be very exciting. We got some great guests coming up. We have some great interviews. The whole crew is going to be back together, and it's going to be a fun one. 2024 will start off proper, and we're going to give you guys what you've been wanting and what you've been missing. Our first episode is going to be here live from Cuba, the beautiful country of Cuba. I'm going to be interviewing my good brother, my good friend, brother Ozzy. You're going to see that interview. You're going to enjoy it. And you're going to have an opportunity to learn about Cuba and a lot about this beautiful country. Things that we don't know about. Things that is, is misinformation that people don't tell us the truth about. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a great convo and something that the people need to, to hear. And this is a place that people need to come and check out for themselves and not believe all the propaganda. As you can see, it's sunny and beautiful here. You know what you do when you come to Cuba, you get you a Cuban cigar uh, and you just enjoy life, man. I'm excited, um, I'm refreshed, it's the new year and uh, myself, Kurt, my brother, Bonds, and the whole crew is excited about what we about to unleash on you guys with this newest and latest season of Church, of, of church After Hours. It's gonna be a good one. So make sure y'all stay tuned and stay locked in. Peace and blessings. How you doing? This is Diallo from Church After Hours Podcast. I know you guys have missed us for a while. We've been going on a hiatus, but we are back. And I am here in the beautiful country of Cuba, Cuba, here. Uh, beautiful country, beautiful people. And I'm here with my newest friend, a brother I actually met months ago online. Uh, shout out to my man, Baba Dare, and, and, and brother Jimmy, who introduced me to my good friend here. And I'm gonna uh, let him introduce himself this is my good friend, Ozzy. Ozzy, man, introduce yourself to the world and, and tell people a little bit about yourself. Okay. Actually, my name is Osvaldo Rodriguez Nocedo. But you know, my good friends that speak English are all from the United States. They call me Ozzy because it's easier for them to pronounce Ozzy than we, Osvaldo. We, we good for doing that, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better for saying Ozzy. For you all, Ozzy. I only right. say through Ozzy, no trouble with me. Right. Ozzy Osvaldo is my real name. Anyway, I'm a peer like that in my faith. Ozzy Nocedo, that is my second in family name for my mother, you know. Mm -hmm. So I born here in Cuba, uh, 1973. Okay. Don't say, oh God, you know, experience one. Ah. So in my beautiful country, as I said, proud to born in Cuba, independently that the economical troubles they have in nowadays, products of any stuff that I don't want to speak at the moment. Absolutely. That everybody knows, who is it? And uh, my graduation, I'm biochemist, biochemist. Everybody going to ask why the biochemist is making the tour guide stuff, you know? Because sometimes the tourists, and not only in Cuba, in many countries, when you have a good client, so all that conference that are cooperative, is incredible in Cuba, it does happen in the United States, you earn more money making the tourists and are properly working as a professional. Now let's stop right there, Ozzy, because that's, that's crucial. I've been here, what, eight days now, and I've talked to several people that have told me, I've talked with doctors, engineers, you're a biochemist, lawyers, brother Frank, who will be interviewing this season as well from Beyond Roots, he's a lawyer, but you guys do other things to supplement your income and get extra income. Let's talk about education right now for a minute. Talk about the education in this beautiful country of Cuba, because we know you guys go to school, you don't have to pay. I know you have to work off like uh, some of uh, your service, like when you go to college, you have to work for a company and then you, you're, you're pretty much debt free. Talk about the educational system here and talk about what it took for you to become a biochemist, man, because that's, that's heavy stuff. So, some stuff that Cuba, Cuba have the privilege of that, you know, that they, they don't want to speak about politics, but something that is real. When came after the 1959, education get free for everyone. Mm. Actually here, it's obligated to the people have at least junior high. It's obligated, it's no question. No. It's high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High school, so it's obligated. The government, if the parents one on the one, the kids wanna do. So it's absolutely for free. Not that's, a single penny. That's beautiful. University, even the university. How is going on the university? In the university, you can be the son of the daughter of who you want, not. Doesn't work. They make 
a test for entrance yes. in the university. So certain amounts of people for this subject, for this career, so the one that get the higher match at the one who entered there. Mm. Absolutely for free. There are some uh, subjects, some career that last minimum four years, five years. Right. So the military here is obligated. If you take your, your university, you gotta pass one year in the army. Right. In the army means there could be, for example, a world fight fighter. Yeah, it's military. So I passed one, was my, my first job, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was fight fighter for one year. And after this, you went in the university. How is going the university? Absolutely, you gotta study a lot. Yeah. Because here the professor doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or not. If you don't pass your math. You gotta get those grades. You gotta repeat your grade. You have an, one opportunity only for repeat your grade. Mm. If not, bye bye. You can be the son of who you want or whatever. You are no good for the university or change to another subject or dedicate your life to another stuff. It's like that, simple like that. Wow. Following the question of my, my brody, why many professionals, as me, as many there are, going to the tourism? The economical troubles of, of Cuba. Incredible with the thief, with the stuff we arrange in our tours. Yeah. We can receive, we should receive our payment directly, or in US dollar, or in euros, or in pounds, or in Canadians. Because here, in pesos cubanos, is very low, the salary, and the cost of life here is day by day higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So, as a professional, you don't know. For example, me, I used to live uh, out of Cuba. I used to live, for example, with my father. I used to live in San Diego, California. I love for my people of San Diego. I used to live there with my father for a while. Now talk about that. How was it living in the States? Because most people think once you live in Cuba, you can't go other places and come back. We're going to dispel a lot of that foolishness, man. Talk about your time in the States and what it was like living in California and what brought you back home to, to Cuba. My experience in California was great. Mm. Actually, in the United States, if you go to the right place with the right people, you have no trouble. Right, right. If you go involved, it's the state, it's the places of the places. If you go to the bad things, you're gonna have a lot of bad things. Right, right. If you go to the good things, you're gonna have working hard, being a professional or being a technician or being a simple, working hard, you more or less can get what you want, working hard. Things that don't happen in Cuba, sometimes you work hard, hard, me working as a biochemist, you know, and my payment will be nothing. Yeah. This is the reason why, because of the, my languages that I have. Yeah. I prefer too quick mm. the biotechnological center and dedicate my life already since 2009. I'm making the, the tour guide job. Mm. I know that I say my friends think that I'm doing well. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I will say this, man. The beautiful thing about Ozzy, man, he's not just a normal tour guide. I don't know a lot of you people travel all over the country. And I've been to a lot of places myself. This has been the best experience as far as getting off the grid. Like I, I, I've been on enough vacations where you go to the resort and you go to the beach and you sit around. Like I like to go and see and touch the real people. And yesterday was my best day here. Me and Ozzy got off the grid. We went and touched and saw the real Cubans, Afro-Cubans especially, man, and went through town, went to the flea market and just had a great time. Tell people why Cuba would be a great place for them to come, not only to the vacation and have a good time, but to come and fellowship with the people, spend money with the people. Because uh, our, our one of our drivers, our brother Julio, was explaining to us how tourism has been low and how coming here can help with tourism, which can help funnel the money back to the, the people. Talk to the, the people about the importance of potentially making this their next vacation destination. So. First of all, at least with me, and I'm not the only one. For this reason why, I've begun to work with company. 
with companies, still companies, you know. But I prefer to make my freelance because sometimes they make complicated stuff like that and the money is diluted in the company. So straight ahead, I organize on my way. My friends can tell the way that I'm doing. Right. First of all, the interest of each one wanna do. Wanna say personalize it to reason. Mm. At least with me. Yeah. You are interested in music, let's see whatever we can do because Cuba without fake patriotism, but it's true. Mm. Cuba is a cradle of mix of culture. Absolutely. It's a very cultural place. This Absolutely. mix that we have between Spain, many parts of Africa, Italy, Lebanon, even the Russians that came here. So we have a mix that is reflected generally in the culture till the cuisine. So you guys are like a melting pot, like how America claims to be a melting pot, but you guys are a true melting pot. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For this reason, we are brother countries. Yeah. What is Cuba, Canada, and the United States? We are like that. We are a mix of the mix of the mix of the mix. Right. And in Cuba, everybody that you don't know that, but it's like that because everything is a mosaic. Yeah. Everything is a mix, a yeah. bunch, you know. You see, even in the architecture, even in the music, even in the cuisine. Yeah, the cuisine, for sure. We seen yesterday when it was New Year's Eve and it was the, the little pre-carnival uh, 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 um, uh, thing that was going on down right outside of uh, the Capitol Square. Like, that was awesome to see the brothers and sisters, Afro-Cubans, you know, doing the carnival dance and all those different Absolutely. types of things. Absolutely. Like, that's awesome, you know what I mean? And that shows and speaks to how you guys have so many different cultures and people from different backgrounds coming together. You, you've seen, we seen French people out there enjoying it. We've seen Cubans out there enjoying it. We've seen other Americans, like everybody was out there enjoying something that they were giving to us on that day. So he's that's absolutely the correct. Cuban, that's the Cuban we are. That's the Cuban way. That's the Cuban way we are. Yeah. So you go there, you go to one corner, you say people play flamenco, Spanish music yeah. in another yeah. kind of Italian, in another African side fusion of oh many kind of rumba, mambo, I've heard reggaeton, I've heard reggaeton, reggaeton yeah. also, a bolero, a lot of yeah, a lot of mambo, a Latin jazz that was created between Cuba and the Puerto Ricans in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. With the Black Americans over Absolutely. there, uh, tell them the truth. Tell yeah, them the truth. Yeah, 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 they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. Know. It's they incredible. Don't it's incredible. It's incredible. Our country, our culture, more than that. I am more proud that I live the culture that I have. Yeah, and and I'll say this, and then I'll let Ozzy close out because I don't want to take too much of you guys' time. But when I was making my way to this beautiful country, I've been here since last Monday, which was Christmas. Today is New Year's. Um, January 1, 2024, Happy New Year to all everybody out there that's watching this. Um, we all know the New Year's is really in April when it's spring, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. But when I was making my journey here, a lot of people was like, you going to Cuba? You know, and this is what a lot of smug uh, Americans do, black and white, it don't matter. You going to Cuba, why are you going to Cuba? Cuba has been one of my top two or three destinations I've wanted to go to. Egypt was number one. And shout out to my brother, Dare, Jimmy, Brian, Rhythm, the whole crew. We went to Egypt last April. So I scratched that off my list and then we had an opportunity to come here to your own country, the beautiful country of Cuba. And people was like, why are you going to Cuba? You know, it's this, that, it's this, that, it's this, that. Things that I won't repeat. But I tell people, stop speaking out of ignorance. Come have an experience or sp speak to somebody like myself, like a Jimmy and others who have been here and, and can share their experience with you because you could be missing out on this beautiful country and so many other beautiful places around the world. So, and I told you, this is my first time coming, but it won't be my last. This is the winter season where it rains a little bit. So today and yesterday was probably the two best days as far as sunshine. The temperature hasn't been below 60 degrees, but it's it's rainy and cloudy some of the days, but Look I'll at, take this, this over is, what this we got back winter, home. This is the winter of Cuba. Right, 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 exactly, exactly. This is the winter of Cuba. Exactly. And we're right here, right on off the Atlantic Ocean, where at nighttime, you talking about sleeping like a baby, man. You open the, the, the patio door and the, the cool breeze is coming in. It's beautiful. But I definitely want to come back in the summertime so right. I can experience a real Cuban summer. So before we close, man, anything else you want to talk about? 
anything else you want to share with the people about your beautiful home country of Cuba? And you see the hat I got on to represent, you know, what don't have to be, you know, I ain't, you know, the, you know the saying, you know what this means, they know what it means. So I just want to shout, shout out the beautiful country, but anything else you want to share with the people uh, before we close out the interview? First of all, guys, don't let the political bad propaganda. That's Cuba. right, that's right. But there are three, four countries for don't be three countries that is Arab partner, brothers in the history of the history in this area. Cuba, Puerto Rico, USA, and Mexico. We are brother countries. Mm. Brother, absolutely brother countries. Sometimes, my friend, gotta say, no, I'm coming from another country because he said, when I'm from the United States, everybody come to hug right, here. Right, we right, love the right, United States, right. you know. Right. After Cuba, we are, after in Cuba, we are more Cuban living in the United States, not only Miami. Right. Right. Also in many in all the states, you know, there are about three millions of Cuban living in the United States. Yeah. Only in Florida there are one million and something. That's crazy. And in Cuba we are only ten. Wow. Hello, it's a big percent of Cubans living in the US. In, in the state of Florida, one million. In the state of Florida wow. only. That's but crazy. there are Cuban living in New Jersey, right, there are right, Cuban right, living right. in California, right. there are Texas. Cuban living in Texas, mm -hmm. all over. Yeah, yeah. This is our brother country. Political, we are brother country. The politicians got to understand in each other, but the people will love each that's other. Right. You that's know? right. That's right. That's right. That is why they got it. The Americans feel at home when they come here. Yeah, yeah. We've had a blast, man. Like this has been beautiful, man. Seeing all of the history, you know. Uh, next time I come, I want to go to the Che Guevara Museum, which was a little far away. We couldn't get there, but we went to the Castro we Museum, the Che it. Museum. Uh, Cause I always had a love for Che, man. Just the the way that he loved just people in general. He wasn't even most people don't even know he's not even from here. He's from Argentina, but the work that he did in Africa and helping out people, I, I love that brother, man. His story is so uh, reminiscent of Dr. King and Malcolm X yeah, fight, yeah, yeah, fight yeah. for the for the for the least of men and women. So, but man, thank you, Ozzy. It's been a great opportunity to sit and no, speak with you. Thanks to you for giving me my opportunity. It's been a great week, for man. Speak today. And if you want to come to Cuba, to if you want to come to Cuba, hit me up. I'll put you in contact with Ozzy. He's on social media. With all the pleasure. And um, and you'll you'll enjoy enjoy your time here in this beautiful country, man. Again, it is awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't listen to naysayers and believe in a lot Absolutely of the propaganda. No. Uh, listen to the friends. That's right. The friends that have the experience. That's right. That's the real right. one. Old people in America say. Old old people in the South say. Experience is the best teacher. So if you have experience in something, you're gonna help teach me better than I can learn from a book or from anybody else. Absolutely because agree. you went through the experience. So I've been here. If you know other people that have been here, tap it, tap tap us on the shoulder and ask us questions and we'll put you in people who are like us. When I let in my tools, I do this way, you know, for example, I wrote the da 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 la la by letting on I go to the places and I speak to the people over all with the elder that just to leave that stuff. You That's know? right. The elder have the living books, you That's know. That's right. That's right. They know that was the it's book African, that it's, an was, African, it's an African proverb. When an elder dies, it's like a library burning to the ground. So it's funny you said that. It just triggered that thought. So you're absolutely correct. I think in our Yoruba, that is named here the future of Santeria. Yeah. Ache. 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 This is for my friends, the Babala from the United States. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah, we talk about that African spirituality and all that, man. Yes, sir. My man, Ozzy. I appreciate you, my brother. Hey, we are stronger together than we are separated. For sure. All right. Peace and blessings. We love y'all. We'll see you soon.